We've come to Wyoming for the Sig Sauer Hunter Games. 10 teams covering seven and a half miles at 8,000 feet elevation. These are competitors from all walks of life. NFL, MLB, world champions, UFC fighters, but they're all shooters and they're very competitive. And they're all vying for a trophy, a custom set of P320s, and pride. All competitors were issued the same gear, including a SIG cross rifle, Zulu 6 binos, the Kilo 3000 BDX range finding binos, the Sierra 6 rifle scope, and elite hunter ammo. So the gun that we're using at this competition is the new SIG cross. We've had some really good luck with this gun over the years. So on this course, they have to carry everything for the whole day on their back. So the rifles in the bag, their food, everything like that. So we're trying to keep the weight off them as much as we can. This gun only weighs six pounds. So the competitors are really, uh, really excited about this because a lot of them have never seen a system where you can laze a target. It gives you a red dot where you should hold and then you just put the dot on the target and you shoot it. They really like the trigger too. Uh, the trigger has been a big hit. Um, so. It, Obviously, those are the things that you interact with on every single shot, the fit of the rifle and the trigger press. So um, those are some really good advantages. Other things that we've done, we've got a 60 degree bolt throw here, uh, which is really good with uh, the scopes kind of getting bigger over the years. It keeps your thumb out of the way of the scope and allows you to action the bolt without running your thumb into the scope. Uh, ambidextrous safety has been a big hit too with all the left-handed guys that are here. We're really proud of this rifle and it's doing extremely well on this course. Like uh, guys are getting a lot of hits. The course of fire is laid out over eight miles. It includes 10 stages. Each stage consists of two to three targets. The teams have 15 minutes to find and shoot all the targets. The trick? The targets are in a 360 degree direction and that's part of the challenge finding all these targets. Out here at the Hunter Games in Wyoming, all of our competitors are issued the Kilo 3000 BDX range finding binocular. It's been on the market for a couple years now, but it's world-class range finder. It can range out to 5,000 meters on reflective targets. It's got an onboard uh, ballistic solver in it. It runs applied ballistics. Uh, on board, we have applied ballistics ultralight, but with this system, you can also pair it to a Garmin, you can pair it to a Kestrel and other uh, apply ballistics elite enabled devices and it will give you a solution out as far as you can range. The range finders kind of the brains of everything. It is uh, it's doing all your ballistic calculations. It's taking all the inputs from uh, what projectile you're shooting, how fast you're shooting. It's calculating your dope for at whatever distance you're ranging. And then it takes that solution and via Bluetooth, it transports it over to the rifle scope and uh, the rifle scope using holdover dots will uh, give you essentially a disturbed reticle. For the most part, it's all positive feedback. People are liking it. We have pretty wide breadth of uh, competitors out here, people who shoot a lot and to people who are kind of new to the sport. And this product is, is kind of is able to span that gap. As far as the other systems on the market that have uh, come out similar to this, what kind of differentiates ours is it just ease of use. It's a lot more comfortable ranging with both your eyes. And, um, and also we're able to get quite a bit better ranging performance because your receive channel is quite a bit larger than on the monocular range binders. As we wrap up day one and head back to camp, competitors have been challenged and the guns and gear have excelled. Several teams were impressed by the BDX system. The teams who have had a plan and helped each other and communicated are the ones doing well. Day two started of the SIG Hunter Games. They're headed to the carts. So let's see what they got. The competitors have already covered 10 miles of hiking yesterday, and mental errors will be costly. Every team has said that on day two. They've shot better. They know where the targets are. Their positioning is a lot better, but I cannot wait to get to the award ceremony tonight. I can't wait to see who takes it home because it is a tight competition now. The separation between second place and 10th place was 87% to 67%. So less than 20% separated number 10 and number two. 
And that's pretty good. That's that's a pretty competitive group of people. So so without any further ado, your first ever Sig Hunter Games champions, Team Ramshorn, Trent Fisher, Justin Rackley, and Scotty Lago. An unlikely winning team, consisting of a professional fisherman, an Olympic snowboarder, and a SIG Elite guide. They captured the title and custom SIG P320s. They're packing it up here at the SIG Hunter Games. A lot of lessons learned, a lot of testing of gear, and a lot of great shooting.